Working as a stylist is so much easier these days since the technology is way more advanced, which helps stylists do their job in a more effective way. Since I've been a stylist for the past 15 years and I have done all different types of styling, in this video I will tell you which Chrome extension I use and why. Hi, my name is Basha Richard and I help a spying stylist enter the styling industry. If you want to become a stylist, you can grab my free cheat sheet guide with tons of resources for a spying stylist and I will link it in the description below. Also, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell to get notified when I post a new video, which is every Monday. Now, in this video, we're gonna talk about which Chrome extension I use every day that helps me as a stylist. So let's get started. One of my favorite Chrome extension is Zoom. Now I'm sure you are way familiar with Zoom, but if you're not, Zoom is a video conferencing software. It's free and I use it to conduct consultations with my clients as well as an online closet detox. Now, like I mentioned, Zoom is a free software, but you can only use it for like 40 minutes on a free account. If you want to have longer meetings, then you have to subscribe to one of their paid Plan. So let me show you exactly how I use it and how easy it is. So we are on Zoom website. So first thing what you want to do is to sign up for a free account. When you do that, what you want to do next is to download their um, the Chrome extension. And the Chrome extension is going to look like, like this. It's like a white camera on like a blue um, a background okay so now in order to uh, schedule a like a meeting so let's say that you have a consultation with your client or maybe you're like scheduling um, a, um, some sort of like a sales call with your uh, potential client you want to talk about services and what you're offering and how you can help them um, you're gonna click on this um, icon and then you're gonna click schedule a meeting. Now, automatically it will open your calendar, which is great because all you have to do is to name your meeting, right? So let's say a consultation with um, Stacy, okay? And then you're gonna change your time zone. So I'm already in um, LA time. And then in your date and time when you want to um, have your consultation, right? So let's say it's November, um, you can just change it to, let's say, Monday, right? From 3 p.m. to 4 p.m. And all you have to do after that um, is save. And Zoom will automatically add this to your calendar. So now you have this link here. All you have to do is to send this link to your potential client or to your client. And that's how you're going to connect. So Zoom will automatically generate the link to connect. All you have to do is to um, send this link to your client and you will be able to connect uh, with your client. My another favorite extension is Calendly. Now, Calendly is a scheduling software that is super helpful, especially when you have to schedule either like a consultation with your client or maybe like you are getting on a call with your potential client. So instead of going back and forth uh, to try to figure out when you guys are available, right? Your client can pick a day and time and easily schedule a call with you. So let me show exactly how it works. So this is my calendar. This is how I set up my calendar for one of my events. It's super easy to use, you know, instead of going back and forth with your client, which is so annoying when are you available, when you're not available, what, how about Wednesday at three and you can just like text back and forth for like an hour, right? So in, in this situation, you can just basically send the, the link and your client can easily um, pick a date and time. So everything what you see here can be done on a back end on on Calendly. So like I mentioned, Calendly is completely free software. So when you go to the back end of a Calendly, of Calendly, you can set up your event. So if you go inside the event, you can set up, you know, the name of the event and what is the event for. That's when the people can book this event. So you can simply um, open your calendar, close it, block certain dates, etc. So it's super easy. It's going to literally take you like, you know, uh, 10, 15 minutes to set it up. And then all you have to do 
um, is to go to your extension. So then you can download extensions on the back end. And this is where you're going to see um, your event. So then it's very easy to get that link. So here it is. So copy link. So instead of actually looking for your calendar, right? Try to Google your calendar or just store somewhere else. You're going to have it in your extension. So you just copy link and uh, basically send it to someone, right? So you can just send this link to your potential client or to your client and they can book an appointment with you. One of my favorite shopping extension is ShopTagger. Now, ShopTagger is an online tool that allows you to save items while you are shopping into a ShopTagger account. And when you do that, it emails you or texts you when your items goes on sale. It will also notify you if something is back in stock or it's about to sell out. So essentially, you can save all items to your ShopTagger account and wait until it goes on sale. At that time, ShopTagger will notify you so you don't have to really check every day if one of your particular items that you saved is on sale or not so let's check it out together so let's talk about shop Tugger. so shop Tugger is a great software that allows you to save all your items in to your shop Tugger account and then shop Tugger will notify you when um, any of your items goes on sale are there any price changes right so what you want to do is to go to shoptugger.com. I'm going to link their website under this video. So just follow their, you know, simple steps. You want to get their extension. Okay. So now let's say that you're shopping on Nordstrom, like I am shopping right now. And I love this blazer, right? So we're going to click on this window and this icon window is going to uh, pop up. So now what you want to do is to click this any price change. So you want shop tiger to basically notify you when there are any price change. You can also pick 25% or 50% 50 off. So if this jacket is, you know, overpriced, you can't uh, still afford this jacket um, when there's 25% off. So obviously you want to just click on 50%, um, but I'm going to click on any price change. Okay. And then you just click update and then it's saved into your account okay it's that simple super uh, super fun so you know you don't have to waste your time trying to figure out if your items are on sale or not you're really wasting time your shop tagger will notify you good picks is my favorite google chrome extension so good picks is my favorite software and why well essentially it allows you to create shoppable boards with the help of the chrome extensions that easily brings all the looks inside your shoppable board so let me walk you through exactly how it works so this is good picks one of my favorite software when it comes to creating shoppable boards i'm going to show you in a moment how the extension works so first thing what you want to go is to to do is to go to clipper when you go to clipper and um, it will ask you to add the extension okay i already have an extension so I'm, obviously i'm not going to be removing it so that's the first thing so now in order to create your shoppable boards you need to tag in or clip in your favorite looks right so let's say uh, that we went to bloomingdale's now i already have the extension and looks like this right so let's say i like the sweater so i'm gonna click on extension okay this window is gonna pop in now what we're gonna do is basically to click on it and click clip to my catalog that's it okay now we're going to go to another one, do the same thing. Click on it, clip to my catalog. Let's add shoes. Gonna clip to my catalog. And jacket, same thing. Now we're going to go back to good picks and click products. You see all those four items were added to my catalog. So now in order to create shoppable board, you're going to go to the content library and click on create a shoppable board. 
and all you have to do is to basically add it on okay here 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 and you're gonna just organize it name it and save it and there it is okay now you're gonna just copy the link And here's your shoppable board okay so now you can take this board and send it to your client and they can shop it this is pretty genius really easy to use and the extension is great because it really does save so much time instead of actually downloading certain looks you can just easily clip it and create shoppable boards Shopshare is my newest discovery and it's a great Chrome extension. So Shopshare is a great platform that allows you to create shoppable videos. It works in a very similar way than a good picks, but instead of creating shoppable boards, you can create shoppable videos and then you can either send them to your clients or post it to your social media account. So let me show you exactly how it works. So let's talk about Shopshare. So Shopshare is a great platform that allows you to create shoppable videos, very similar to GoodPix, but instead of creating shoppable boards, we're gonna be creating shoppable videos. So first thing what you want to do is to create an account. So you're gonna go to shopshare.tv and create an account. Now, the next step will be to, inst uh, you have to install Recorder. That's gonna be your extension. And extension is gonna look like this okay so let's record a shoppable video for your client so let's say that we really like this dress we want to talk about this dress why this dress is great etc so what you want to do is to click on the extension and record current tab okay now my face is going to pop here and we're going to start recording. So that's when you're gonna talk about this dress, why this dress is so great, why this dress is a perfect for your client. Now, in order to create a board that your client can shop, you're gonna click on this pink, um, a pink button here. So now, right now, you can't see the window um, because you're recording, but as soon as you're done with your recording and you're going to save this um, video, so we're gonna stop this video. This video is gonna save. Um, when it saves into your account and you create a link, you're gonna have a link um, and you play back this video, you will see a window that just pop um, on right. That's when your client can click and shop for this dress. So now you know exactly which Chrome extensions are my favorite. If you want to learn more, don't forget to grab my free cheat sheet guide with tons of free resources and I'm gonna link it in the description below. Also, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell to get notified when I post a new video, which is every Monday. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you next week.